Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we are taking a look at an update that is now available to the Botanic Nature Library add-on. So, this video is to those who have already purchased this add-on and for those that are looking for vegetation add-on, tree and grass add-ons that they can use, Botanic is actually one of the cool ones that you can get. And this is made available by the folks at Polygonic and it is super simple to work with. Now, for those who want to get this, you can either get this on both Blender Market or on Gumroad. Links to that is going to be in the description. So, what is is so cool with the brand new version of 6.2 if you get the botanic 6.2 or if you update to the botanic 6.2 you'll be able to have access to 83 new models and these consist of both rocks garden assets ivies fern and so on and so forth meanwhile there's a brand new feature that the folks at botanic have also implemented in this new update release so what this is is right now you can freely draw vines on your model with this said let's dive directly into blender and take a look at how this actually works so with blender open what do you need to do is go over to edit go over to preference and install your add-on now once you have your add-on installed press n on your keyboard and you'll notice that we have the polygonic tool so by default working with polygonic for those who don't know is super easy all you need to do is to click on spawn asset and you can grab any of the assets that you want and the assets doesn't just limit to just trees because there's a whole lot of assets that you can get so if i click down here you can see we have some garden stuff right now which is pretty cool to see that they're now available and we can scroll all the way down so just think about you trying to create some sort of garden and you want something like this this makes so much sense right now so you have this asset you don't necessarily need to model these things yourself anymore and if you're looking for things like grasses there's a huge ton of grasses if you're looking for ivies there are brand new sets of ivies that are now available so you just have the whole pack of things that you want to use and for those who are looking for things like rocks there are some cool photo scanned rocks that you can get so you're looking for that true to life kind of feeling right now you'll be able to get these things and at the same time if you're looking for vines there are a couple of vines right here and you can see there are some pots and also you know you can just simply go through and take a look at the list of cool things that are now here you might have also known that botanic is super cool at scattering stuff if we simply click on the word scatter assets and click on the plus sign you guys already know that it scatters directly onto your model so with this here you can now easily get this stuff but this is not the catch you know this is not the thing which we're going to talk about so what is cool with this new one what is cool with this new one is you can now draw directly on the surface of the model so let's say we click and hit ctrl 5 for example and subdivide this actually let's drop this to 4 click right here click on apply and we have Suzanne right there so if I raise this all the way up scale this a little bit and let's rotate this bad boy about a point like that drag this down and let's make a little rotation like so beautiful so let's say we have this I want to create some vines across this right now with the power of your botanic alongside grease pencil that is a possibility because if you click on this button and you select from this tree that you have here you can either go with the basic a select the surface area so i'm just going to simply select suzanne and then we can draw so i can go like so maybe i would like the ivies to travel like this and maybe i would also want them to go like this all right and potentially might want to have some things like that and maybe get something going on like this i don't know i'm just having fun playing with this one right now so depending on what you want you might want to have you know these things growing directly on your own trees or maybe you want them to grow on a building this right now makes sense one thing to keep in mind is this simply follows the normal of the surface that you're painting on so once you're done you can go through and click on convert and what would happen is the botanic add-on will take a look at the lines or the strokes that you've made by simply using the grease pencil and it will populate that with some vines traveling through and these vines are pretty nice because at any point in time you're working with these vines you can literally do the most with them you can choose to increase the numbers of the vines that you want increase the scale of the vine so let's say you want to make them a little bit more you can increase the scale and at any point you want to play with the phasing you can also choose to play with the phasing depending on what you're going for let's dive over to you know ev and see what this looks like looking very pretty this could actually sell for an nft but you know let's just keep going we've already talked about the fact that they have some very nice photo scanned rocks so let's go in and grab a couple of those thing so we can go over to the rock section click on this rock and click on ok and for this one i think i'm just going in and throw in a little bit of the physical atmosphere you know just throw this tiny thing a little bit just to get that sort of shade coming up from there and i could also you know i could also uh throw in a bit more light so let's position our camera about a point like this i'm just gonna go through and position this camera to a point like that kind of like 
what I'm getting from this. So I'm just going to position this camera to a point like this, press the home key, and we have this lovely thing happening right here. And for those who are thinking about getting a vegetation add-on, you might consider taking a look at this one and seeing some of the cool features that are now available right here. So it's pretty interesting to see that you can not only scatter assets directly onto your surfaces, but then you can also draw vines. Hopefully this is going to become better than what it is at this point, but it's just very interesting to see that there are several sets of controls that you can use while working with the botanic add-on itself. I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can go through and check this one out. And also for those who like to get these on Gumroad, there's also a link in the description that will get you up to speed with this as well. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And if like, see you guys again with the tutorial of Update, free Friday tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.